ex so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just. Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate. And this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this and an atmosphere to match the mood. Stay with us, we'll have all the action live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator. And alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. It's Angel City FC and they take on the Portland Thorns. Well, what an occasion this should be, Derek. Two excellent teams, two top coaches, a great atmosphere and 90 minutes away from a place in the cup final. It should be a classic. Well, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, I think oh, they, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the semi-final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. On to Sinclair. Crystal Dunn. Could be dangerous. And whipped into the box. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and what a good header that is. Yes, the marking could be better, but she just found that little bit of space. In the end, she didn't even need to jump. When things are going wrong, it's always the manager that comes under fire. She needs to make... Just 15 minutes remaining. Mary Alice Vignola. Might be a chance here. In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next? Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Kuika. Kuika. Now, who can she pick out? Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Chasing this game. Desperate for a leveller. But it wasn't a taxing save. Megan Klingenberg. Now with Coffey. Klingenberg trying to open up the defence oh but brilliantly read to cut it out it looks so promising and it's all over officially now the Portland Thorns have progressed to the final well they're in the final and deservedly so but that was tight in the end they played some lovely attacking football but at times they look vulnerable to the counter-attack and they will need to improve that in the final This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long, and now for the action.
Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. It is Manchester City versus the North Carolina Courage. Well, Derek, semi-finals are usually tense affairs. The winners can look forward to a great occasion in the final. The losers are completely forgotten. The contrast in emotions is immense. Let's hope it's a semi-final that everybody remembers. And it's opening up. Cleared away. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, Manchester City unable to retain possession. And in with a real chance. Must finish. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Kasparay. How about the cross? And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And what an easy finish it is in the end. Mind you, the market is so poor, she didn't even need to jump. She won't care about that, though. Now with Roared. This could level it. Can they cover up? Well, you've got to give her credit for that piece of defending. Jill Ward. Leila Wahabi. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Well, that is a sensational strike. And many will have questioned the wisdom of having a goal from there. I'll tell you what, she's glad she did. What a goal. Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Now she could do a bit of damage. Trying her luck, and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And there's the delivery. And now she scored not once, but twice. Thoroughly enjoying herself out there. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal.
Attacking possibilities on the flank for City here. Real chance. Oh, her volley was close. High degree of difficulty. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Crossed accurately towards the far post. And a good take under duress there. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And is she going to score from here? And a goal! How about that? As they increase their advantage. And who's to say they won't be going to the final at this rate? Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, the ball back with City here. Wonderful chance. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again. And I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. It's looking promising. Is it going to be? And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. And over comes the corner. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. And the referee's whistle. The home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, it was such a dominant performance from start to finish. They dictated the tempo for large parts of the game and were absolutely lethal in front of goal. After a performance like that, they have to be favourites going into that final now. Surely it's theirs to lose. It's the final we have all been waiting for. Two of the best going head to head. Drama next here on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's the Portland Thorns facing Manchester City. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third, and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might be on for them. And able to close down the shots. Hemp. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. Christine Sinclair. Oh, it might happen for her here. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer?
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Brilliant piece of skill. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 one, one here. Crystal Dunn. Now with Sinclair. Klingenberg. Trying to open up the defence. Oh, a goal! To give them the lead. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Khadija Shaw. Just trying to drive her team forward here. Intercepted effortlessly. Kelly Hubley. Now will the cross work out for them? With plenty of time and space. Well, didn't really make the keeper think too much about that at the end. And what a waste that is. Such a good chance as well. Chances on. Oh, a goal to level us up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, here's the replay. The little one-two starts everything off, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. So, back underway. The game having been squared at 2-2. Kina Sugita. Now with Kuika. Level pegging, but can they change that? He delivered into the box. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. Emily Menges. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. here the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more could be dangerous oh good work by the keeper Who's going to get on the end of it? And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick! Excellence in finishing, there for all to see!
Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and she just finds that bit of space in the box, which makes the header so much easier. It's a very good goal. And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Lauren Hemp. Oh, great attacking play. Genuine chance. And it's gone in, just what was needed for Manchester City, who now have squared it. Underway once more, level at 3 3. Done. Well, strong play here. Hemp. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Morgan Weaver. Sophia Smith. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? Now, does she mean business? Must finish. And that's what they need at Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle Sugita time running out but they could yet win it and credit to a good intervention Lauren Hemp might be a chance to break and what an opportunity this is for her one hand on the trophy so little time left for a response now well here it is again and they've taken their goal well but the defending was non-existent that should never happen well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Still pressing for a goal here. This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak.
Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome. Another absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence well it really has been engrossing today such a tight game but you have to feel sorry for the lose but yet so far away and the party mood has enveloped the stadium it's going to be quite the night of celebration here players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken well these photos will be cherished for years to come won't they certainly ones to show the grandchildren